Having a weakness can mean you liking something or someone no matter the extent of what it did or what it's doing to you. It could be gambling, a drug addiction, procrastination, but most of the time that's what causes someone downfall, their weakness. In Johnny's case, it's his meth crazed girlfriend that continued to pit him through fictional situations time after time. Up until Johnny's demise, Ashley somewhat was around and played a part for the fall of the lost. It's known that she dated both the chapter president Billy Gray and Johnny Klebitz himself, although their relationship was at a halt during the first half of the events of Lost and Down. Johnny shows recurring care for her and to her even as he tries to downplay it. Here's one of the phone calls for that example. It's past that dude. We're over. Long gone. But you're still helping her out of fixes? If it's over, you got to end it completely. Yeah, I know it. But you know me. Always had a soft spot for someone in trouble. A lot of times it shows how soft Johnny is for Ashley. Angus phone calls throughout the game. Billy when he mentions Ashley in the beginning of the game. Do you still have Ashley's phone number? Why don't you give her a call for me? Tell her I'm inside getting all sorts of f***ed up. And that I would really like some, I mean, we, meaning all of us, would love some Ray Bocino when he brings her up, but we'll get into that later. There are emails sent to Johnny from Ashley telling Johnny that she is clean from drugs, also manipulating Johnny saying that he also messed up during their relationship at the time, and even her lying saying that she's going back to college, with Johnny responding to Ashley saying, there's no need going over the topic at hand again, implying they talked about it prior, before the events that lost him down. Johnny knows Ashley causes problems to him in the loss, but extends his hand to help her anyway. In hindsight, a lot of things that happened wouldn't have happened if Johnny cut ties fully with her early on. The first mission you witness Johnny simping, Ashley calls you frantic to help her. Not knowing the reason, Johnny rushes to her aid and takes out her aggressors. This mission shows Johnny helping Ashley with no questions asked, only because she asked to do so. Johnny boy, John, I need some help. I ain't got a handout for you. Sorry. A handout ain't gonna fix it, Johnny boy. I'm into something bad. I need a knight in shining armor to take me away from this mess. They're gonna kill me, or worse. Jesus, Ash, where are you? Some project on Wardite. Come quick, baby. I'll try. Something else I wanted to mention. The next time you hear from Ashley, she tells Johnny she is clean from drugs, which is a lie. This shows how manipulative she tried or could have been to Johnny. It isn't my white knight. Savior, Johnny K. I ain't your savior, baby. I might have beaten up a few pimps and pushers, but I'm never gonna save you from yourself. I learned that a long time ago. That's the old me. I'm clean now. I'm off the meth and all that shit. Didn't seem like that when I last saw you. Just checking you're okay. Bye, Ash. But as the main fictional plot continues, it will get worse than lies. Moving forward, Ray Bacino meets with Johnny in some of the Lost chapter to when it's revealed, Ashley told Ray about the state of the Lost. Johnny is seen agitated after how Ray speaks of her. I heard you boys is having a little internal dispute. Yeah, where'd you hear that from? From Ashley. You friends with Ashley? Everybody's friends with Ashley, tough guy. <laughs> uh, you know, she's a good kid and all. A little messed up, but, you know, she needed a friend. Now, although this isn't for Ashley's game, but her reaching out to Ray calls Ray to now use Johnny for what he needs done for his own merit, which makes things harder to escape later on in the story. Also, it's somewhat confirmed Bocino and Ashley had or were having something going on by him alluding to it prior and going all out to tell him toward the end of the game. After Ray helping Johnny, it's time for Johnny to do the same for Ray. Ashley calls Johnny to have him go to a restaurant in Little Italy. Instead of Johnny asking what does Ray need with him, which was to steal $2 million worth of diamonds, he asks Ashley why she's there with him, basically disregarding everything but Ashley's doing. Ashley, what is it this time? Hey, Johnny boy, it's nothing. I mean, it's something, but, but it ain't like you think. Ray Bocino. That guinea? Jesus, what are you doing with him? We're not doing nothing, Johnny. Nothing we ain't supposed to. I need you to meet him is all. We're over at Drusilla's in Little Italy. Can't wait to see you, baby. He doesn't even ask about the payment until the mission is over. What's going on, baby? I ditched the ice. It's in the trash now. Ray better hope a garbage truck doesn't come around anytime soon. Ray got any money for me? There ain't no money yet. Ray's got... 
GTA 4 mission taken in the trash. You hear Ashley informing Ray that Johnny left the diamonds at the designated spots, but to me this doesn't sound like the same Ashley that has her best interest for Johnny. Yeah, they got it. They, they left it where you said. That's why he came over here. Ray also calls Ashley Sugar, which implicates she is of course not faithful to him either. Hey, Sugar, <coughs> come here. After that, Johnny explains his side to Angus, which we learn Johnny's feelings at this point. But Angus reminds Johnny what he told him earlier in the story. Johnny, what's this I hear about you getting caught up with the Mafia? Yeah, well, Ash, she introduced me to this guy. Is that the same Ash you ain't seen no more? The Ashley Butler who's too tweaked to know what's good for her? Johnny explains to Angus that he just wants Ashley to be okay, while Angus tells Johnny just to look after himself, which is good advice other than becoming a higher goon for the Mafia for a drug addict girl digging you deeper in the hole every time you help without even thinking. Now at this point, Johnny's biggest weakness had Johnny doing 100 miles per hour on his bike to go to Ashley's house to help her after receiving a text to do so. Even Johnny is annoyed at Ashley telling her she has to stop messing things up, but of course, still helps being that if he doesn't, she will be killed. This is of course the mission you kidnap Roman. During this mission, he implies he's just helping a friend, but his accomplice Malk even knows it's deeper than a friendship relationship favor. I don't know. I'm doing this as a favor for a friend. <laughs> Must be a good friend. It's complicated. Oh, it's like that, is it now? She like your girlfriend or something? No, no, that's cool. I'm feeling that. Things is coming together. Starting to make sense now. She ain't my old lady, all right? Sure, sure she ain't. That's why you running all over town trying to snatch a fool up, huh? Please. She. I know about brothers, but I know about bitches as well. This here job smells like a bitch to me. They got bitch stink all over it, son. This mission alone shows how much Ashley puts Johnny through things and uses him. He definitely feels, though, Ashley is all he has, especially at this point of the story. The loss being non-existent, kinda, instead of being a few members. Billy is arrested and is planning on testifying on top of him already not knowing what's next for him and a chapter which leads to the last straw for a person that's not Johnny. Man, so Johnny is used to finish up the diamond deal. Again, Bochino implicates that he and Ashley have been around each other prior to calling him, which Johnny plays the tough guy act not realizing no one bought the fact that Johnny didn't feel any way toward Ashley. John John, Ashley sends a love. Yeah, you gotta give that girl another chance, you know? You get the perfect free jump. Thanks for the advice, Ray. I was thinking the same thing about you and a coffin. Skipping through, the deal was jumped. Johnny pulling a quick move, one taking the money, being another bad move, and gives it to the treasury of the lost MC to look after. Johnny then calling Ray to play dumb, not knowing where the money went, but Ray seeing right through his claims. Now at this point, we don't hear from Ashley. Dude, that's weird. Shit was kicking off. I don't know what happened to the money. I just wanted to get out with my life. You better not be pulling nothing, Johnny. Or I'll stop pulling your fucking teeth, you hear me? Johnny then gets a text from Jim telling him to meet him at Ray's hangout, which of course a setup. Ashley is still not to be heard from, but... He of course falls for the bait and finds himself at gunpoint and his treasurer being tortured to explain where has Ray's money gone. The second he and his treasurer escape the basement, he says this. You gotta go talk to Ashley. He is then contacted by no other than Ashley, informing Johnny that Ray has his goons to take him out. Now how would she even know? It's kinda obvious Ashley is playing both sides, but Johnny insists to have her meet him back at the clubhouse, or only to find out his treasury Jim was killed. Johnny, I got some bad news. Jim, he ain't... Oh no. Oh man, not Jim. At this point, it seems Johnny starts to realize the bad Ashley had really done. On top of the fact that none of this will happen if he just cut her off. He then tells her to get out his sights, and that will be the last time we see her in 2008. We still hear from her. After the events of GTA 4, she calls Johnny to end up asking to borrow money to which Johnny surprisingly declines. Yeah, I heard. Look Johnny, look, have you got any money? I need 40 bucks. I need it real bad, baby. Not this time. You can kill yourself on your own. Goodbye, Ash. 
Later on, she also emails Johnny to tell him she was in rehab, only to follow up with another email to tell him that she got kicked out and needed to borrow money. The last person we hear from is Angus, to which Johnny tells him that he finally cut ties with Ashley, which definitely wasn't the case. What about Ashley? Ashley? The ice got her good. I finally cut her loose in my head, man. I don't know what's left for her other than that need to fuck up everything around her. You've been a good friend, Angus. You're a good man, Johnny. Things should have worked out better for you. Half the people we see in the beginning of the game dead, Johnny's recovery to be normal again went out the window. And that's the end of the Lost and Damned story. But during 2008 to 2013, at some point, Johnny sadly rekindled his relationship with Ashley and took his chapter to Blaine County, San Andreas. Much didn't change from 2008 to 2013 other than Johnny becoming a meth addict. Ashley continued to be unfaithful to Johnny, which caused his death. Trevor also being a meth dealer in Blaine County, so of course Ashley would be around. So would Johnny M being a user himself now. Last Johnny Clapp is cut scene you see of him, he is going to confront Trevor about being with Ashley. Johnny, don't do it! Trevor! You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole! Don't do it, Johnny! I told him, Trevor! I told him! We all get high! We all get high! But that don't Leave make it, it right! Johnny! Leave it! The crystal has got us, babe, but don't make it right. Don't make nothing right. Not what you're done with me. I'm telling Johnny, leave it. I ain't leaving nothing. Trevor, I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? Is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him. Leave it. Leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. I don't mean nothing by it, man. I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Ashley then reacts, then she do all this sobbing. Which don't matter, because it's kind of your fault. Why is he in Blaine County? Now, Johnny's ending is very realistic. My first playthrough 10 years ago, I was about 10 or 11. Damn, I'm old. But I hated that this happened to Johnny. But now that I'm much older, I perfectly get it. As much as we think Johnny was this tough biker guy, he even gave me Trevor vibes before GTA 5 was even announced. But he was still written as a human, fictional character, having weaknesses like real humans outside of video games. It's just wild over a meth head that never had his best entrance and that constantly put him in deeper holes. Now, I don't think Ashley was the sole main reason he became a user, but her being the reason that he's even at this point definitely plays a part in it. Shout out Rockstar for that writing, but I will admit I had my jaws dropped when I first seen that cutscene for the first time ever. This is Johnny's biggest weakness, or was Johnny's biggest weakness. Like this video for me too if you like it. You're a good man, Johnny. Things should have worked out better for you.